So now I'm showing you how to download the TinyPaw Linux from the SourceForge. First, you need to go to the SourceForge.net uh, official website, and you need to uh, type in TinyPaw. TinyPaw Linux. I think I shouldn't leave any space here. Here it is, the TinyPaw Linux passive and aggressive Wi-Fi attack distro. So it's a Wi-Fi attacking distro, Linux Wi-Fi pen testing distribution built of TinyCore Linux and inspired by SioPen OS project. Lightweight with uh, some new tools and updates to tools that have stood the test of time. So these are all the features you get. I already made a video, so I didn't. Uh, uh, there was no browser in it, so that's the reason I came back to my Windows PC and uh, I'm making uh, this uh, video. So let me first go to the official website. There is also an official website instead of a source forge. So this is the URL for the tiny paw Linux. Uh, this is the website. So here you get uh, ISO files, the hybrid ISO, standard ISO, all those things. So this is some of the information or uh, this is uh, how it looks. So I will be putting this uh, part in the beginning of the video and the other part uh, I already posted. Not posted, I already made, I already recorded that video. So I will be adding that part uh, after this uh, video. So here it is. So all the information, home, devlog, about, forum, wiki, all those things. Let's go about. Here is complete information what you need is this is a lightweight desktop environment or lightweight linux distro so these are all the information you can go to their official website and uh, just uh, check out on your own like a forum wiki all those things here is the wiki which will take you directly to the source forge and here is the forum and here is the downloads so these are all the things you get in the tiny paw linux the version is here all the version of the applications are here so let's go to the files and let me show you how to download it so you just need to click on the uh, download latest version tiny paw version 1.5 so here it is you can just click on download and here is some of the information again so now watch the video of uh, uh, run through of the tiny paw linux so today we are looking at the tiny paw linux version 1.5 so here is a boot menu so let's quickly boot it in a live boot so i'm running it on a virtual machine which is a vmware with a 60 gb of hard disk 8 gb of ram and my cpu is i5 1240p So here we have the uh, desktop layout of a tiny paw. So here is the dock. You get the exit, editor, run, mount tool, uh, terminal root, air cracking, and uh, air hidden. Air. There are a lot of apps. Instead of going through all those things, let me just uh, scroll it like this or hover over the dock. So instead of uh, reading everything, it will to take a lot of time there. So let's first go to their uh, official website. Let's find uh, an uh, internet browser here. Networking. So but to be honest, I don't uh, really know uh, anything about this Linux distro. So it will be a, a first experience here for me too. So I don't have any browser here. So I'm going to show you uh, how to download in my uh, Windows PC. So I will add that uh, in the beginning of the video so you don't need to be worried. So these are all the things you get in the tiny paw Linux. So under the air crack suit you get all this application, attack and audit, cracking, exploitation, phishing, scanning, uh, networking and quick folders, XTERM options applications you get applications like uh, maybe five to six applications under system tools you get uh, almost uh, everything styles i think this is the 
a kind of a change in a application menu all those things i'm going to show that uh, in a few seconds workspace list configuration focus mode window placement reconfigure restart re-exit so let's go to styles and change to blue box deep flux so it's pretty much instantly changing so that's uh, pretty good outcomes the orange all those things black box style twice let's keep it orange i don't know where it went so let's uh, here is it orange so let's go to the system tools settings you have a backup and restore mount tool it's kind of like a tiny core linux almost uh, similar wallpapers you just have two wallpapers so let's close this thing network backup and restore mount tool services and date and time mouse tool swap file tool network system stats cpu memory net modules and all other things mounts file system boot installed big home files terminal server wallpaper so let's close this thing let's open the editor so this is a text editor and settings we already saw the settings run you can run applications here or you can browse it cancel close mount tool already saw terminal root so let's type in few commands inxi cat colon slash etc colon slash issue it's a core linux which is tiny core linux here is the kernel 4.14.10 tiny core and prime some of the commands let's click, click exit so air cracking so let's open this thing here are the options let's close this thing air hidden Air Monoj Battery I am running on a laptop so let's see I think here is the battery So Bully let's see Bully Pen Wi-Fi Cracker Kismet again we have terminal file manager a uh, pacman 1.2.3 so i guess this is the lightweight uh, desktop environment river river dk3 so router exploit and here is the Wi-Fi, Hydra, and other thing is Send Map Root. So you get all those uh, things on the dock. It's pretty much smooth, and it's lightweight. I don't want to say that word, but uh, people who want to use for the hacking purpose or something like that, uh, it's good, I guess. So let's see these options reconfigure you can reconfigure this configuration focus model windows window placement image tethering opaque window moving full maximization focus new windows these are all the application uh, options you get in a configure options 
workspace list you can change the workspace styles already shown settings is already shown applications i already opened everything extreme options you can change the font size all those things quick folder you can go to system root system tool root, all those things i already opened this networking scanning phishing all those things so this is the complete lightweight uh, linux distro so i'm going to give you the uh, some information in the uh, windows uh, pc because I, we don't have any browser here so let me go to i'm going to put the uh, install downloading process in the beginning of the video so you can uh, uh, you don't need to worry at the end so i'm going to put, place it in the beginning so i think that's the end of the video uh, there is nothing to show because i can't show anything uh, uh, because i don't know i don't want to risk uh, whether this uh, video will take down by youtube so some things uh, when we show uh, youtube will remove so that's the reason i'm not going to show anything here i'm just going to show you the application that i already showed the applications whatever you get in this uh, linux distro which is a tiny paw so that's the end of the video so i'll be posting like a two videos daily without missing any day so i already posted another video so if you want to check that out you can check that out uh, after this watching this video again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out